Virtue, sorry, excuse my mess on the floor. I'm sorry, but I wasn't planning on like filming about these jeans because I only got one pair from American Eagle and I was like, it's, you know, it's not enough to do a haul, but I'm gonna include this in a vlog for you guys because I know I have a lot of thick and beautiful curvy brochicos out there and y'all need to know that these jeans are freaking amazing. Like they really did something with these jeans. Oh my goodness. So I'll tell you the correct name of them. Hold on. These are from the new curvy side and that's why I wanted to order them because they came out with a new curvy jean which I thought was amazing. I used to love American Eagle, I still do love American Eagle, but I think it's great that they're expanding their clothing for curvy women. So this is called Curvy Super High Rise uh, Jegging, and it's the Dream Jean. That's very important, the Dream Jean. Curvy High Rise, Super High Rise Jegging. I got mine in the size 14, oh my goodness. I don't even think y'all realize like how like absolutely stunning these jeans are like they like the cut of them just accentuates your if you have like a hourglass body like I have an hourglass it's it's not the most accentuated hourglass but I do have one I'm smaller here than here and this just like comes in so nicely but it's not cutting my fat in half you know, I always talk about how I hate when things like cut me in half like this and then I end up with like two lumps. Look at how nice, I'm not sucking in or anything. This just lays so nicely on my stomach. And of course it's about choosing the right size for your body. Check your measurements before you order online and all that good stuff, but these look so good. I don't know if you guys can see the back because, oh my goodness. These are, I love, first of all, I love the distressing on these in general. They have them on the ankle. These are just like very cute. They're black and they're just a little bit faded in the middle of the leg, which I think is really, really nice. And the zipper goes all the way down to here, which I love because it's so ugly when zippers are only halfway up on a high rise. That's like very awkward and it looks very cheap. And these are just so like this waistband is so like stretchy yet firm at the same time. I don't even know how to explain it. This has like the right amount of stretch, but I still feel like supported. Does that make sense? Oh my goodness. The only thing I will say about these guys, I will say these jeans are like $70 original price. And I, when I was going to make a video about it, because I was like, oh, should I just make a video about it, like, by itself? But I was like, I only have one pair, so really, I'm just going to do it in this vlog, like I said. But what I was going to say is, is it worth it for $70? Um, I paid, I think, $35. I got them on sale. Totally worth every single penny I paid. Now, having tried them, knowing how good they are, would I pay $70? Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely freaking lootly, dude i mean i think it's so hard to find a really nice pair of jeans that not only looks like you're snatched but you don't feel snatched do you do you know what i'm saying like i want to look snatched but i don't want to feel snatched because feeling snatched means like everything's all tight and bunched up and i can't breathe if that makes any sense so i feel like i look snatched as hell but i feel like i'm wearing sweatpants but it doesn't look like i'm wearing sweatpants like these are so beautiful I just found like my most favorite jean ever. That's it. Supro chicas, my broskies. I know I already started this vlog in the house with the jeans, but I wanted to say an official hello, bro chicas, because that's how we do things around here. I cannot find a placement for my phone where it doesn't shake like this. I don't know. I feel like it's more shaky than my car was. Like, I'm not sure. I gotta find a different situation, probably like a better car mount. So I apologize for the shakiness, guys, but I'm just trying to be hands-free and safe. But I did want to vlog a little bit since we have some alone time. I'm going grocery shopping, it's Friday. Um, but you guys, I'm so excited about those jeans. Like, 
if you are curvy and thick and plus size like you know the struggle especially since we've been so used to wearing like comfy clothes during this quarantine the one time that i had to put some jeans on to like look you know more presentable i hated every second of it it was so uncomfortable and obviously it's due to the fact that i was wearing size 12s and i no longer am a size 12 i'm a size 14 now um so yes that's part of the reason why i was uncomfortable but still like it's just so nice to have a pair of jeans that fit so beautifully and nicely because you can have jeans that are comfortable but don't look good and this was like comfort and beautiful snatchness all in one like i can't believe they're 70 dollars though i think it is a little pricey um i really do i really do love american eagle stuff and lately like because you guys saw the other like underwears haul um, I've been really loving both sides of it, Airy and American Eagle, and I love their product, and I will say it's very quality. Like, it's qualita, okay? Qualita. But, dang, it got expensive. So, <laughs> Hubby and I have both loved American Eagle. He loves American Eagle, too. It's his favorite pairs of jeans. It's, like, the only jeans he wears, and he loves their, like, regular just, like, V-neck shirts from there. So, we both, like, stan American Eagle. But I will say over the years of shopping, <clears throat> we used to think that $40 jeans were so expensive. Like the jeans I used to get were 40 bucks and I was like, ooh, that's like an arm and a leg. Dang, it's so expensive for those jeans, but they're worth it. But it like hurts your wallet to buy it, you know? And now they're 70, girl. I think they're 70 because they're for curvy and anytime it's like a bigger plus size you know thing i feel like they always make it more expensive correct me if i'm wrong but i think they do it kind of sucks i got on one hand i sort of understand it because there's more fabric blah blah but it's also annoying um but yeah i was i'm just so happy with those jeans i like highly recommend them i have them in the wash the reason why i like had to like quickly try them on and like you know is because you have to wash those jeans because of the type of wash it is it's a black wash or a faded black wash and because of the type of wash it is you have to obviously wash it before you wear it and you have to wash it by itself just in case any of the uh clothing dye wants to come out <clears throat> and then after that you're good and it won't you know leak onto any other clothing so i'm washing them right now because i'm actually going on a date night with hubby tomorrow I'm so excited because I just I just need to get dressed up you guys and that's why I dyed my hair I don't know if you can see you can it's all over my scalp I'm just kidding of course you can see that my scalp is literally freaking purple it is what it is I know people like always tell me um there's like purple stuff on your ear and there's like purple stuff on your neck I'm like I know obviously you've never had colored hair before because this is what I deal with for the first two days after freshly dyeing it it's just it is what it is we can't commit to just being a weirdo with purple on your ear and the back of your neck and your hands then you can't have great color hair because that's how it be um so yeah i dyed it yesterday i used like 75 percent purple and 25 percent red this time um so hopefully as it fades it fades a little more towards the purple side versus the red side but i love playing around with it i don't care because it always comes out like pretty i mean those two colors are beautiful so when you mix them together whatever the ratio it's still gonna look good i just wanted to see if it would be a little bit darker this time around um and now i'm out of hair dye so i need to go buy some more by the way guys shameless plug iro iro colors is the dye that i use for my semi-permanent hair colors and i always have an affiliate link down there if you want to support me and of course a discount code so you guys can save some money i know they sell them at sally's but i don't think you can use the code at sally's i'm not really sure but i do know that if you want to shop on iro iro's website i have the link and there you can get i believe 10 percent off of your order so i always try to save you some money and always try to make me some money because that's how we do it here but i i seriously love their hair dyes and i love my freshly dyed hair it always feels so soft because they use coconut oil um in their hair dyes and they're vegan and cruelty free so get you some 
I've been noticing when I go out and about, like yesterday when I was at the post office, I see a lot of women with um, like fun colored hair because I think everybody's feeling very similar. I think everybody's feeling some type of way where we're just like, you know, we're stuck. We're going crazy. Uh, let's do something crazy. Cause I know I am. Dyeing my hair, giving myself piercings, changing up my style again. Like I'm such a hot mess because like six months ago I was trying to change my style to be more of like a grown up classy woman. And now I've re reverted back to my high school emo self. Um, yes, I'm, I'm there again. That's, that's the point in life that I am again. Back to the emo self. And then fall's coming out soon. Like, oh, this is where I thrive, girl. This is where I thrive, okay? I'm so ready for fall. But yeah, I just wanted to come and like rant and say hi to you guys. I also wanted to ask you a quick question before I let you go. Um, have you been liking my body positive, body acceptance, plus size, curvy, hauls slash informational videos have you been enjoying them please let me know i need validation i need <laughs> feedback um i know a lot of you love my confidence and i get a lot of that on my snapchat or my dms and on tiktok but i just want to make sure that you guys are liking the content that i'm starting to put out because i do have more content in the works very exciting stuff coming up so please if you're not subscribed subscribe hit the bell notification because I'm going to be having more like body positive plus size curvy hauls and stuff but did you guys enjoy that underwear video because I was really putting myself out there you know it was like it's it could be very embarrassing for some you know like how can you just be there in your underwears and your bra but you know what I see it as like I'm helping people because I wish I had somebody helping me figure out what I need you know like I wish somebody told me five years ago, girl, stop buying your underwears at this place because this place is what you need. I wish I had that or else I wouldn't have spent so much money on underwears that I don't even like. So um, I know I do talk a lot in that video, but it's an informational like girl chat type of haul. And I know I'm going to already see comments of people being like, Oh, it's, it was so long because you talk too much. Like, literally, this is my new reality. I'm kind of getting used to it. <laughs> it's still kind of like my my inner thug wants to be like, excuse me? What would you say? Come and say that to my face. You know, when somebody leaves me a negative comment, my inner chola just wants to be like, what? <laughs> and like snap back at everybody. But I realize I am like trying to be a public figure or am a public figure whatever you want to call it influencer youtuber i put myself out there which means anybody can comment on anything i do and that's their prerogative and i can't really change it and i can't really stop it and no matter how many times i respond back to negative comments it's never going to stop you know like i'm still going to receive them so um that's why you see that i got like i have slowed down on responding to as many comments i've slowed down on reading all of them because it will put me in a bad mood if i get a negative comment like it really irks me but i feel better than i was before i feel more just like you know what it, it's fine that's that's their opinion they're having a bad day like whatever it's not gonna i'm not gonna let it ruin my whole day so it doesn't like ruin my whole day i shouldn't say that but for a minute there i get like very upset and then I like let it go. So I'm getting better with handling the rude comments. It is what it is. But a lot of people say, oh, you talk too much. You talk too much. But I know like they're the ones who are passing through because the ones that are subscribed to me, my bro chicas, love the way that I talk, love how I do hauls and love how I do vlogs. So, you know, I know it's just the people who are passing through that just don't get it. And if you don't get it, sweetie, click to the next. Um, but yeah, that's just a little, I'm still doing good mentally. I'm still, you know, positive. I feel happy. I feel motivated. I'm on my grinds. Um, but I've accepted that this is just my new life now that I get lots more like negative feedback. Not a lot, like, because it's mostly positive, but just more than I used to get. So that's just going to it's only gonna get worse from here and so i've been trying to accept it like i just feel like the more subscribers you have the more of a bigger platform that you get the more 
you're opening up for negativity it is what it is but you know if i can help a few people uh love themselves or feel happy brighten their day smile then um you know inspire then it's worth having those people who are going to be negative to me so little morning rant you guys i'm gonna go grocery shopping and i'm sure i will see you manana so mila and i are out having girl time and we wanted to go to dollar tree but also i had been wanting to check out the clearance sale at bath and body works so we went to bath and body works first and it was sunny until, bright and we were in there for like only like five or ten minutes until the rain started yeah and then i paid and i, I looked outside and i was like oh my god what happened it's literally downpouring uh, it was worse before it's kind of calmed down now but like literally just torrential downpour <laughs> that's texas for you one minute it's sunny and bright and the next minute it's like flooding <laughs> so we're just sitting in the parking lot for a little bit until it gets a little bit better to drive in and then we're gonna go to Dollar Tree. But I feel like we could probably... Well, look at the huh. little sun over there. Yeah, now the sun's gonna come back out. I hope so, because the rain is... Oh. <laughs> you ready to go to Dollar Tree? Yes. All right, you gotta get back in the back seat now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I was just letting her sit I up here for want, fun. I just want one day sitting here. You can't though, it's illegal. I so I never showed you guys the items that I got from Bath and Body Works like semi-annual clearance sale. So I'm going to show you right now in this vlog. I just got a few items. I thought I was only going to get like two items, but the deals were too good, girl. I had to get six items. Okay, so of course I had to get some room sprays. I always get my room sprays from there. Um, they just help keep your house smelling nice and fresh and they're very concentrated. So they do last actually a pretty go good long while. <laughs> Sorry, I filmed a lot of videos today so my jaw hurts and it's like hard for me to speak correctly. The first scent I picked up was Endless Weekend. Oh, this one smells so fresh and beautiful. So definitely recommend that one and I'm showing you guys this now because hopefully they're still having a sale and I'm just gonna recommend some scents to you guys for if you go and the next scent I got was beach sage and mint and it's, it was kind of hard to like smell the smells in there because you have to wear a mask to go shopping but this one smells very clean and fresh like herbal clean like something you'd want your kitchen to smell like so that one smells very like earthy crunchy clean if you know what I'm saying so picked that one up and I also picked up another endless weekend but I think this one smells I thought it was just like a different packaging but I think it smells different no it does smell the same it's just a different packaging this is like a beach packaging they didn't have a ton of different scents I think they also had Georgia peach but I don't really like fruity smells in my house they had like one other scent I feel like they didn't have a super lot of options but luckily these ones smell super good so that's why I got the three and I got those for like about two dollars each so it's definitely worth it they're usually about nine dollars yeah these were eight fifty some of them are nine dollars originally but yeah I got those for two bucks each so you can't beat it I also got me some body sprays. The original reason I wanted to go was because I'm running really low on my Bath & Body Works spray. And I don't like to wear perfume on a daily basis because it's just too strong. So on a daily basis, I wear body spray. And it actually does last pretty good. They had a, obviously a lot of summer scents going on sale because it's now turning into fall. So I picked up this one, which is like a summery, beachy one. And it's called Waikiki beach coconut and this smells so good girl i'm gonna wear this one today it smells so beautiful because i don't like all coconut scents but this coconut scent is like the right kind of coconut scent um this was originally 15 dollars and 50 cents and i got it for three dollars and 87 cents what and it was originally $15, like what? This one smells so good. It doesn't even have an explanation on the back, so I can't like explain it to you, but 
it's like a perfumey coconut. It's not just your regular like sunscreen coconut or like, you know, banana boat coconut. It's not like that. It's a very beautiful feminine coconut. It smells so good, you guys. I highly recommend this one for summer. So I'll be using this for the rest of the summer season. It is like my favorite summer scent I've ever smelled. It smells so good. And I also got another one because you cannot beat that price. So I had to get a second one. And this one is called Magic in the Air. I used to have a little hand lotion of this scent. And so I already knew it was going to smell good. It smells super feminine. It actually brings me back. This actually like brings me back to like just being a cute little teenager. It's a very beautiful feminine scent and I really, I don't know how to explain it, but you need to just go smell it. Magic in the air and it's on sale and it smells really, really beautiful. It smells like a beautiful young lady. That's what it smells like. I don't know if that's weird, but this was originally $14.50 and I got it for $3.62 for a full size body spray. <laughs> Can't beat it, you guys. If I was smart, I'd go there and get all my Christmas gifts already, but I didn't have enough money to splurge that much, but that's what I should do. And I also got the lotion to match the magic in the air. I was looking for the lotion to match the Waikiki one, but they didn't have it, it was really sad. So I got the magic in the air lotion. This was originally $12.50 and I got it for $3 and 12 cents i mean literally don't shop at bath and body works unless they're having their semi-annual clearance because it's such good deals so i'm gonna spray myself with this waikiki because i love smelling good oh my goodness it smells so good you know what it kind of reminds me of like a pina colada in a good way in a good way you'll like it go smell it <sighs> So yeah, I am going to relax now. I feel like I need another coffee. I have to go check the mailbox because I'm expecting a package. And I have a mess in my room because I just finished filming two videos. I think I need some Tylenol because my jaw has been hurting a lot lately and I don't know why. But like the hinges on my jaws like always feel so tight and like painful. It's a very weird feeling. Also don't remember if I told you guys that I like refreshed my hair color because it was like fading away more on the red side and I didn't like that so I mixed more purple I think I told you guys I was gonna do it but I don't know if you guys saw like the results so this is the results after one shampoo and I really really like this color it's like a deep like wine burgundy like it kind of seems purple but it's not really like purpley so it's more of like a wine deep deep burgundy but i really love this color i think it's super beautiful so i'm really happy with how that came out this time mm -hmm.